as a big-time synthetic handbag maker, it came as no surprise to Joshua Cornfield when famous companies became enraged upon their discovery of his faux knockoffs of their products. Joshua was, was sure he had prepared himself for this situation, but according to the events that had occurred on January 16, 2014, it seems his plans were very flawed. Having installed excess security, Joshua was overly confident in his protective services. The crime analysis team discovered just one small mistake Joshua made. This mistake ended up costing him his life. It seems as though it would be impossible to die from just one stab wound, but our experts say that because of the knife's location and Joshua's inability to get medical attention in time, he was unable to survive. From the autopsy, it became evident that Joshua was stabbed in his chest, and the blood traveled into the space between the lungs and the chest wall, which is called the pleural cavity. What happened in this instance is that when the knife penetrated Joshua's thorax, the pleural cavity began rapidly accumulating blood. This process of blood accumulation is called a hemothorax. He also indicated that Joshua was left untreated for about an hour, which is really all it would take. His condition was progressing to the point where blood was accumulating so much that it began to put pressure on the mediastinum and trachea, effectively limiting the amount of ventricles in that his heart was able to fill at a time. Not only this, but Joshua's body was going into a type of panic mode, requiring even more from his severely damaged respiratory system. Our experts speculate that Joshua could have survived had he received the correct medical attention. Had he made it to the hospital in time, Joshua would have been able to have a procedure called a tube thoracostomy, in which blood in the pleural cavity can be removed by inserting a drain and relieving the pressure it causes to the respiratory system.